Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subscribers. Thanks for joining us here on the channel. We have a lot of good outboard fun. Um, so, hope you enjoy the vids. And uh, I got to give a shout out. I didn't want to forget that. A big thank you to subscriber Mr. D. Roberts, Mr. Robert. He got me a ratcheting adapter because he saw me throw my one half inch Milwaukee in my tank. I've done that before. Um, and what this will do, this ratcheting adapter, I've got like a 1940s, 50s big half inch Milwaukee drill that I used to spin over smaller motors, 15 horsepower or so and smaller. I also use it on the bigger motors with the spark plugs out for spark tests and that kind of thing. And uh, sometimes the old flywheels can do goofy things. Kick back on you and stuff. What this will do, I can put this on my um, extension in my drill and when the engine starts it will just keep spinning. So I'm a lot less likely to throw it in my outboard tank and electrocute myself. 
Thank you, Mr. D. Roberts. I really appreciate it. I do. And we'll use it for sure. Um, okay. This video, I've got a little Honda four-stroke 15 horsepower that I've been stumbling around. I've had it in here in the shop for over a year. It came to me in parts and pieces. When I got it, the, the lower unit was off of it. I, I don't even remember if it had a water pump in it, but I just put the lower unit up in there and put a couple bolts to, to hold it on. So that'll have to be addressed. But also when I got it, I didn't have an intake or a carburetor. And uh, so digging around in my parts conics out there, I found a carburetor. I knew I had one for a 15, brand new. But I don't have the spacers, the air silencer, which that ain't important as far as it running. And so what I'm going to do is cobble together whatever I can. I don't know if it's going to work. We'll just give it a shot. But uh, I think it will. But one piece that I'm missing, and I went on Boats.net, Crowley, and a couple other places, and uh, they call this thing, it goes in between the carburetor and the intake. And it's a pretty good thick piece of plastic. They call it, if I remember right, they called it an insulator. So I'm thinking, well, see what I can come up with. And so what I'm going to do is cut some gaskets out of some, I got some fairly thick uh, cork gasket. And I was thinking maybe I could make one of these insulators. Um, but yeah, I went on the, the websites and it said not available, not available. So... Anyway, I think we can, I mean, it's essentially a, just a four-stroke engine, so I, I think it'll work. Um, and we're going to give it a shot anyway. And if that goes all right and the engine runs okay, then I'll dress the uh, lower. So let's get at it. There she is, Isla. Don't that thing sound great? Kept just everything is as much original as he could. And, uh, he even found a new old stock. Did you find that? You found that fender in on That's the nicest front fender on the planet. Uh, did you find that in America? Probably the Netherlands. Yeah, yeah. He, Spain, Portugal. He got that from Europe somewhere, and it was like brand. It was brand. New. There he goes. That's a good sounding bike. Listen to that. He, wor he worked his heart and soul out on that bike. I mean, he's a rider. He has been. Um, oh, looky there. He's a rider. He's been riding since he was like five. Yeehaw.
So here's the carburetor and I've got the linkages, both the choke and the throttle linkage hooked up. Here's where this insulator goes. So I made a series of gaskets um, that I can space it with and you can see how thick this gasket is. It's a nice big thick cork. So I was going to take this one and put in there and maybe this blue one because it's pretty thick too and just stack them in there and see if it'll uh, see if it'll run all right all right does have a water pump so we'll have to look at the impeller on it but it did have one hmm. keyways there what the hell is that oh it's just a little guide pin uh, I don't know let me see let me pull it out of there Let's me pull it out of there and see what we get. Hmm. Actually, it ain't bad. Not bad, really.
getting a little trickle. Something's plugged somewhere. I'm thinking thermostat. I'm thinking thermostat. Somewhere over here. It blew that hose completely off of that thermostat. I know you guys can't see it on this side. There. I think so. Get my flashlight. If I can get a shot of air in that hose directly, where the it comes out of the thermostat to the telltale or the block. Yeah, I can get a hose in there. Let me, let me start back up. Look. Back over here. Okay. Try that again. Just took it all the way down. It was hard plugged in there with salt. Should be able to. Uh, should be able to get the uh, hose back on now and it'll pee. On the hose. Got a fuel filter right in my way. Let's see if we get pee 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 now.
Now you say, why, when you put it in forward and reverse, didn't it make the water churn? Not if you could see the water. I'll show you. Because I ain't got no pea peller. I'll look through my pile. I might have a Honda propeller in there, but I don't think I do. But I am quite pleased. Um, like I said, this engine came to me in a basket case state, missing a lot of parts. And uh, this will make an excellent trolling motor for salmon on my uh, Bay Runner skiff because it's long shaft, electric start, charges the battery, and uh, yeah, it will. So I got to come up with a propeller. But I like the fact that it has the recoil start plus the electric start plus charges the battery. So I've got some cosmetics to do for it on it for sure but I'll get that done if we ever get a sunny day and I mean that but yeah quite pleased with that uh, so you see I had to put on my my, my dome my, my 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 ear heaters because I don't know if you can see it it's 40 40 degrees right now 40, 4 degrees. So, um, the grass is still trying to grow. Um, not much else, but I, I did get some color on my uh, current berries. My old plum tree looks like it's plum giving up. Uh, there ain't much going on. The grass is growing, but... You can see my current berries are starting to get a little green, but you can see right behind them up there is the plum tree. Even my rhubarb for this time of year, you can see it right there behind the apple tree, which don't have a single bud leaf or nothing on it. So it, it's just flat cold. I mean, even some of the alders don't have buds and leaves on them, and that, that's, that's unusual. So we're getting a late, I'm just hoping it's going to be a late summer and that when it does come, it'll last all the way up until like September. But you can see the grass is finally starting to grow. But I mean, when the sun does, the weather and pattern changes and the sun um, comes around, that grass and, and things are just going to go crazy. But, uh, yeah, so, well, that's going to be a wrap on this Honda video. Um, like I said, you know, I'm, I'm real pleased with what, how that came out. Um, I was hoping that this would be a decent motor because it, it has potential use on uh, on my bay runner skiff for trolling um, it'll be excellent for that so um that's going to be a wrap on this vid we'll do some uh cosmetics on this motor and i'll film a little bit of that intertwined intertwinced the other videos i'm doing uh, took in a couple more outboards. I ain't sure which one I'm going to roll in here next, but I had to get a generator <coughs> done. And then you got to look at the old NX650. So that would be my generator. Pardon me, that would be my air compressor kicking on. Um, so that's going to be a wrap on this one. 
We put some spacers where we didn't have an air silencer. We put some cork gasket and so forth where we didn't have an insulator, intake insulator. Seems to run fine to me, so if the part is no longer available, and until I get one that comes in on a junker, that will do. And a couple quick 10 millimeter bolts, and I can switch that back out. But right now, um, it's good to go. So, as always, that is one more hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. More vids are coming on Inside Out Bullets with your host, Cody Bass.